Hey everyone, it's Scott from Double Beetle Design, and I'm here to talk a little bit about the myth of north-facing windows. For a lot of homes here, especially in Montana, facing north, one of the coldest states in the nation, it used to be a rule of thumb for building a house in Montana, especially one that was exposed to the cold north winds. Sometimes those winds can reach up to 20, 30, 40 miles an hour and be bitterly cold, even if they're not at freezing. A lot of times they would minimize or eliminate windows facing the north. A wall assembly usually is wood studs in residential construction, sometimes other materials, metal studs or concrete, but wood studs infilled with bad insulation. That bad insulation has an R value of anywhere from 10 to 13, all the way up to 21 or 29. Now, what is an R value? If you've seen insulation at the box stores, and it says R13 or R21. What that is, is a measure of the resistance of temperature change across the assembly. And by the assembly, we mean the thickness of the wall. If it's zero degrees outside and it's 70 degrees inside, you have a temperature change across that wall of 70 degrees. So what you would have is a higher resistance to temperature change across that wall assembly. If you were to take the area of the window and you were to cut it out of the wall and put a window in its place, if that window doesn't have the same R value that the wall assembly would have, you would actually have a colder spot. And that when cold air hits that window, the, the window would actually produce cold air coming in or would allow cold air to infiltrate and therefore making a cold spot in the wall. So what do you do if you live in a place like Helena here where our primary views and all of our beautiful sunrises, sunsets, and weather is visible to the north. If you're looking to the north and you want views to the north, how do you not have windows in that direction? Today, window manufacturers generate windows with two panes of glass with either an airspace or a gas space between them. There's actually a few millimeters of air, argon, or some other inner gas between those panes of glass that allows the cold air that would have moved through a single pane of glass to stop. Now you've got two panes of glass, your R value or your resistance to cold is significantly better than it was 20, 30 years ago when it was a single pane window. But if you've ever stood next to a single pane window, it is cold just standing next to it. So the tradition of building homes that had very few north facing windows has changed a bit and now north facing windows are a bit more common than they used to be. Some of the traditional builders around the state will still design and build homes that don't have north facing windows or very few, but with higher R values and better insulation technologies in place, you can be guaranteed that you're going to get a window that's going to have a lot better R value than the same window would have been 30, 40, 50 years ago. So, now you understand the R value of a wall assembly, the R value of a window, and why it's important to have a good performing window in a good performing wall that'll keep your house safe and warm, even in those below zero temperatures with 30 or 40 mile an hour winds. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back later with more tips and information about architecture. I'm gonna get out of this bright sun and back into the house. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Scott with Double Deedle Design. Talk to you later.